Here we are with the LAN chiller showing us how to set up our D-Links. Okay, okay. First you need to set it up, put it on the middle, middle which is client's mode. That will allow you later to put it on your video phone and have it wireless. You put your USB to get power on the USB of the computer and the Ethernet cable into the Ethernet plug in the computer. Then you dial, you put 130, zero. No, 192. Sorry. 192, zero, 168, dot, zero, zero, dot, 30. Now when you have the, you run the you go to nest make sure you erase the password completely unless you want to put it with yours in that case you will have to remember it for next time if you don't do that you will not be able to log next time and you will have to reformat it by putting a pin in these uh, clips in this little hole here to put it back to factory so make sure you have it blank then go to nest sit survey you're going to survey find out which kind of wireless you have around it may take few, few seconds sometime a minute or two I need to do ah enable to connect okay we have a problem so we will redo this down. session again Okay, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. So here, in this case, Netgear is the local thing. So then we can complete it by going next. Next. And, and set up complete. And then you can close. And now. This has been configured, the D-Link has been configured to pick up the Netgear, which is the local net. Let's work at this location. Which is the open network in our, at this location. And now it should be, now you can unplug this and plug it into your Global Freedom phone and it should work. Okay. You want to walk it over? Go over to the other side. Yes. And I just plug the Ethernet back to the Ethernet cable here, which is the one on the right, and the USB, which gives power to the D-Link. And now you we have an IP. You want to plug this one in? What as well plug? as a. Um, you didn't film that? Yeah. Now it should pick up and download. Why don't you unplug this? Mm -hmm. Unplug the phone and then replug it in and we'll have it reload. Usually, when you plug this in, you should plug in the Ethernet cable first and then plug the power in the phone. So go ahead. The phone will reboot as well as the D-Link. This is doing it, and it'll say device is booting up. At first, it'll say no IP, but then it'll go out and search and find, assign an IP address, which is done now, and download the updates. What's Tanya's phone number? Mm. Or oh, we can call your house. I see somebody at home. It's not registered yet. Who's the home? white oh yeah, the white triangle or this white Ethernet cable works now. We should change the date. Why is the date didn't change it? Yeah wait. 
Two two one seven. Which one? Eight one. What's yours? Eight one six three. No. Um, which one? My mine at home. Sandy's. Uh, two seventeen. Edit uh, ninety three sixteen. Ninety three. So now we're calling. Alan and Sandy's house. There we go.